Matt, uh, you posted on LinkedIn an article with the title, Five Ways to Identify Your True Calling in Life. Can you talk more about that? And we also talk about having identifying your values in the previous video. So how can job seekers utilize those uh, five ways of true calling? Yeah, no doubt. Again, to, that's to know who you are, right? So when we do that, we, we really understand what our calling is. And there's a few things that I, I said in there. Number one would be to, to unlock your true potential. And that's really, again, knowing who you are, knowing what your purpose is. And if you're not clear on your purpose, you're just seeking a job versus someplace where you can live into your purpose, mm -hmm. it's going to cause a lot of problems. So number one is obviously unlock your true potential. Number two is, is passion. When you live into that purpose, that creates an area of passion where you're excited to do things and passionate people mm -hmm. create passionate people, right? Yeah. So it's an opportunity to continue engaging in places where you're going to continue to grow in clarity in your purpose. Number three is abundance. I believe firmly in, a, in an abundant life. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have, you know, all the money in the world and cars and, and toys and things of that nature, right? But abundance is to be able to have a full and complete satisfying life, right? A place where you really feel like you're living into that purpose. Like, if you know that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, that is a place of freedom and abundance. Uh, number four is contribution. Mm -hmm. Like, your purpose actually benefits others. So, whether you're working as a job at Walmart as a greeter or whether you're working on Wall Street, you have an opportunity to live into your purpose which then opportunity for a contribution to society, to other people, which inspires other people to do the same thing, right? So when you live into that purpose in that place, it's a contribution. And finally, number five, relationships and health. You have to remember that if you're not living into your true purpose, not living into true calling, it can cause problems in relationships. It can cause problems in your health. Mm -hmm. uh, it could cause tear-ups in your family. It can cause issues at work, right? So when you live in that place of full purpose, when you live in that place of full clarity and you understand your true identity, then uh, that's an important place to know, hey, I'm going to be healthy and strong, have great relationships, and I'm going to be taking care of myself. Yeah, my purpose is to help people, and that's why I'm doing this uh, interview series. I'm contributing to my community, giving back to other people so that they can benefit all this great speakers and I'm having. But sometimes we also feel that job seekers are just taking a job for the sake of the money because survival, right? Especially nowadays, they cannot just pick and choose. So is that, do you think that that's okay during this time or it all depends? Yeah, well, like you mentioned, it's a journey, right? So there are places along the road that we have to take some pit stops. You gotta get some gas and get some refreshments and get back on the road, right? Um, so as long as you stay focused on who you are, what you know, what your purpose and your calling is, um, then if you have to take some pit stops along the way, but you stay focused on what that is, that's fine. It might stink, right? I mean, sometimes that gas you know, goes way down to you. You're like, oh, man, we got to pull off the side of the road before I run out of gas. Yeah. And you just have to do what you have to do. Um, but as you stay focused on those places and you stay focused on who you are, opportunities will open up for you to walk into. Those are great tips, Matt. Thank you very much. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of true calling, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for other great questions with Matt.